day, I'm Dr. Mad World here, and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Leaf Green version. In the last episode, we beat Lance with his pants, I mean, the Dragon Master, and in this episode, we're going to be taking on the final battle against Trainer Blue, our arch rival, who's been just one step ahead of us, him and his stupid turtle the whole game. Now, I recommend in front that you have your electric type, or a rock type if you want. Anyway, here he is. Hey, hey, Tim. I was looking forward to seeing you, Tim. My rival should be strong and keep me sharp. While working on my Pokédex, I looked all over the world for Pokémon. Not only that, I assembled teams that would be any Pokémon type. And now, I'm the Pokémon League champion. Tim, you know what that means? I'll tell you. I'm the most powerful trainer in the world. Heh, <laughs> I have a turtle. Oh, shut up, you. That's right, we are on the final battle with the jerk who started it all and's gonna end it all. Blue. Blue starts off with Pidgey with Pidget, who's always been who's always a huge pain. Whether he's Pidgeotto, or whether he was a Pidgeotto, a Pidgey, but, and especially when he's a Pidgeot. Luckily though, Pikachu, I mean Raichu, Zappy will make short work of him. So that was incredibly disappointing. Come on, let's, let's show us what you got. Oh, Rhydon, yeah, because every guy who has a Rhydon has been a huge challenge for me in this game. Although maybe I should have sent out um, Rose. Now, oh, whatever. See, like, oh, Criticals hits, they save the day. Come on, Blue, show me what you really got. I want to see, like, your real... Oh, Al oh it Alakazam, huh? Yep. Do you really think that you're going to win? I don't think so. Maybe I leveled up these guys too high to give myself a real challenge, but... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, come on. Come on, Sid. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ugh. <laughs> nope, that did not work as I was hoping it would. I was hoping to do my regular strategy... Of well, you know what my regular strategy is. Um, uh, what do I do now? I did not think of this. I will. Um, uh, I'm just gonna set out Smaug. See what he can do. I still have. Oh, oops! I did not mean to. Attack. Ugh, Kazam is really annoying in this fight because he is one of his. Because he's probably the worst Pokemon to fight against. Just because he is one of the strongest. Because of his psychic, yeah, just psychic itself. Basically gives Alakazam, like, his his name, his namesake is just... Oh, oh, don't you want me to use this attack again and again? Well, you know what, I'm going to paralyze you, Alakazam, just because I am so sick of this. Thunder Wave. Okay, good. Now there's less of a chance that he's actually going to use it. Ugh. Whatever, I don't care. I have full heals. And I went over my full heals. Oops. Anyway, it doesn't matter. You're paralyzed, you can't move. I'm not paralyzed, I totally can move. And I will totally kick your ass. Because nobody, and I mean nobody, Mr. Zam, can take takes out my friends and gets away with it. Ugh, recover. Oh, you think you're clever, huh? You think you're clever? Oh boy, this is going to be an this is going to be an experience. Okay, okay. Hope maybe critical hits will save the day again. I can hope. One can only hope. Now, how much PP does recover have? I'm not really sure. And if you have a Pokemon that knows disable, that can make this fight a lot easier because you can just disable recover. But yeah, oh, stop using it. This is going to be. This might take a while. Luckily, I do believe that Thunderbolt has more PP than, um, than Recover. But then again, I did use some of the PP on the previous guys, so who knows. Although I do have to wonder, aren't you paralyzed, Alakazam? Aren't you paralyzed? Okay, there. Alakazam is done. Honestly, like, uh, when I said I wanted a challenge, I was kidding, Blue. <laughs> who want a challenge? Challenges are overrated. Executor. Okay, Executor. Um, the guy who I wanted to take Executor on uh, is not around, so I'm just going to sacrifice play. I love these sac... Don't you love just sacrifice plays? Yeah, um, I'm just going to sacrifice play so I can get out. Um, 
Yeah, should I just use my max revive? Because I know I have it. Maybe I should just use that, yeah. Save myself some time. Just save myself a turn, just to get him all ready. Yeah, there we go. Egg bomb. Ah, damn it. Whatever, doesn't matter. Like I said, it was just a stalling maneuver. Now for the guy who's actually going to take out Ex Executor. Okay, come on. Come on. Come on, take him out. Yes! Okay, I was kind of worried for a second there that it would be like, Oh, he's in the red, but he survived. Because, you know, why not? <laughs> anyway, oh boy, it's Blastoise. I was not... I was hoping Blastoise would come in later, but no, I have to worry about him right now. So I'm going to have to spend some time healing up um, the two guys who I want to take on Blastoise. Uh, in the meantime, I'm just going to keep... Um, I'm going to stall while I get out my revives and revive uh, Sid so we can um, hit him with a po hit him with like the proper poison. Yeah, so we can toxic him. I can just hope Rose can take a hit. Oh, Rain Dance, wonderful. Well, if you have, well, if I taught Thunder to, to um, Zappy, that would have been, that would be pretty useful about now, but I didn't, so it's not. But who cares? Whatever. So I <laughs> miss. You lose. Uh, maybe I can actually use this to my advantage and see how much Surf use it does. Ah, you keep missing. You see, this is why Surf is way better than Hydro Pump. It doesn't miss as often. It's not very effective. I figured as much. Well, I may as well switch over to a Sid now, because... I mean, I mean he might be hit by a up-powered Hydro Pump, but it's not going to be that bad. <laughs> oh man, this is great. So great. So toxic. Oh god damn it. Come on, you can live a hydro pump. Yeah. Yeah. There we go, so it's game over for Blastoise. Pretty much, yeah, it's pretty much game over for Blastoise about now. Since he's probably gonna have to spend this next turn setting up the rain again. Yep, you're done for Blastoise. May as well just give it up now and go home. Oh, sorry, he's got a citrus berry. Jerk. Okay, then. Let's raise relief. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. You can take it, you can take it, you can take it. Oh! On, with only six HP left, a Sid manages to take it. Yeah, great job, a Sid. I'm so proud of you, buddy. And, uh, that poison should do him in right now. M m m turtle No! That's right, Blue. Your turtle is gone. All you got left is a little dog. And I have the perfect counter to it. <laughs> I feel a bit f sad for Forrest because he didn't really get a lot of involvement in the Elite Four, but eh, what can you do? In the meantime, you can enjoy this really epic rival music. Oh man, this song's great. Extreme Speed! Well, it's good to see that he finally evolved both Execute and uh, Growlithe into their respective evolutions at long last. Oh, are you serious? You cannot be serious. Okay. Is he going to heal, though? He is. Ah, uh, it doesn't matter. I'll just use Surf again. And I think part of the reason why Surf did as much is because it was raining. Okay, good. The r so, this next one should be able to take him out. Let's see what happens. Oh, damn it. So close to it now and now the um and now the rain has stopped, so 
Yeah, that's not good. Not good at all. Oh man, crits are trying to help save the day. Go crits. Listen, I know Rose is a is a is an ice type, but did you really think Flamethrower was gonna take her out? I mean, really. No, I swear to God, if you use <sighs> that's it. I don't even care. I'm just gonna keep using freaking Surf. I don't even care anymore. All right, one more Surf, and he is done for. Permanently. Yes! Yeah, I did it, Blue. You're done. No! That can't be! You beat me at my my best! After all, it worked to become the league champ! I even had a turtle! My raid's over already! It's not fair! I had a turtle! Why did I lose? I never made him mistakes tracing my Pokemon! I chose the turtle! Darn it, your new Pokemon League champ! Although I don't like to admit it. Damn! Oh no, he's back! The murderer! So you've won! Sincerely, congratulations! You're the new Pokemon League champion! You've grown up so much since you first left with Charmander to work on the Pokedex. Tim, you have come of age. Blue, I'm disappointed in you. You suck. And when I heard you've beaten the Elite Four, when I got here, you were already beaten. Seriously, you're such a loser. You forgot to treat your Pokemon with love and trust. God. Tim, you understand that your victory was not just your own doing. The bond you share with your Pokemon is marvelous. Tim, please come with me. My turtle, gone. It failed me. Ahem. <clears throat> Congratulations, Tim. This floor is the Pokemon Hall of Fame. Pokemon League champions are honored for their exploits here. Their Pokemon are also recorded in the Hall of Fame. Tim, you have worked hard to become the new League champion. Congratulations, Tim. You and your Pokemon are Hall of Famers. Ah, yes. What a wonderful team. It may not have been the team that I was originally planning on using, but honestly, I'm actually quite glad, like, impressed on how this team came out. 41 hours? Uh, that's mostly just because of that last hour of grind, like, that last minute of grinding, but still. Honestly, I actually really liked how this playthrough came out. And now for some really nice credits. Yes, that was Pokemon Leaf Green version. I wouldn't say that's my favorite Pokemon game, not even close. I definitely prefer the, um, I definitely prefer the Fire, I definitely prefer, ugh, I definitely prefer, um, Heart, Gold, and Soul Silver, which are my absolute favorites. Black and White 2, I love. X and Y, they're, they're pretty decent. Um, and I also am big fans of, um, the fourth gen games. But, um, yeah, honestly, I had a lot of fun with this playthrough. I definitely thought it was probably my best playthrough so far. I mean, it's right up there with Kirby's Dreamland is one of my personal favorites. Uh, definitely way better than Portal, which, honestly, looking back, I really don't enjoy that one. But, still, this one this one was actually a really fun playthrough. Um, I'm I Honestly, like, the team that I had was not the one that I had planned originally, but... Like, I did not originally plan on having, like, uh, um, Dugong on my team. Originally it was going to be, I believe, Lapras or, or um, Tentacruel, but eventually, and I was originally going to actually have Haunter as a mainstay on my team, but 
as it went along, I ended up changing it quite drastically, and I'm kind of happy I did. I really like the end result. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Also, I want you to hear this part. This is my favorite part of the song. Yep, the Team Rocket theme, hearing one last time. And honestly, while I do prefer their theme from Hard Gold and Soul Silver, I will admit that this game does have some really nice music in it. I mean, it's not as good as the original um, Game Boy version, but there are quite a few good songs in this game. Like, we're in Celadon City, like the home of all the good songs in this game. Just, yeah, it's a pretty good game. I do think that the Sevi Islands portion near the end was sort of unnecessary and kind of just a time filler. Like, there's no real reason it should have been added. Like, I think it was fine for it to be taken out of the original. But, yeah. Honestly, I really enjoyed the journey. And, um, I hope to see you here next time for my next LP. I still need to figure out what that is, by the way. Because I've got some ideas. But, I'll see what happens. In the meantime, we'll see what Gary does with his turtle. Also, as for after game, I will be doing the after game for this game. So that will give me plenty of time to think of what I'm going to do for my next LP. So, yeah. Anyway, this has been Dr. Mad World, and I'll see you all next time. Pokemon Electric Yellow? <laughs> nah. That'd be dumb. <laughs>